I don't feel too good, yeah, I might fall. Yeah, I'm sick, but I still. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are seeing this video, um, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i'm back basically you probably already seen the title um i didn't make this video because i felt like i had to explain myself i made this i'm making this video because i want to show that people go through some real shit so it's not more of a Oh, this is why I left such and such. It's more of a, if you feel like this too, sometimes you are seen, you are heard, and you are not alone. So let's get into this video. It is currently 2, can y'all see? 2.35. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's currently 2.35. You're looking at my hair and you're like, baby, what's what's going on? I decided to lock my hair. It's a little poofy at the top right now. But it's okay. It is super cute. I'm really starting to like it. Um, The way it frames my face is really cute too. My hair has already shrunk up so much. But like when I first got these, my twists were like right here. Now they're up there. And my hair is here. But it's okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That's not where we're in the video. I'm over here getting distracted. The last video y'all see me make was my... What video was that? It was the one right before I was like, I'm going to do a video for school. Oh, this is not even my YouTube account. Who? Why is she... Guys, do not give your girlfriend your phone because she never logged back into my YouTube channel. The last video I made was my Sheen haul for school. Damn. Okay. So, that was the last video I made. I have, I have two videos I have three videos that I haven't edited or finished making. No, I have three videos that I haven't edited. I have two that I didn't finish making. <laughs> so let's break this down. Um, The video that was supposed to come out next was my first semester of college video. It was supposed to be, hey, come to college with me, do my maintenance, my hair, my nails, pack got there first couple week first party all of that um that video was completed and almost completely edited i just like needed some music what let me tell y'all the real tea in the midst of me like making the video and as soon as i finished it and i was like okay i need to edit this video so much hit me at once it just it felt like you know you know sometimes Life just smack you hard. That's what it was. Um, I was a I was a freshman of college. I still am. This is just my second semester now. That I will show y'all because I'm getting back up on my feet. Um, first semester, it was the first time being on my own. First time having that sense of originality. Um. I've been in a Catholic school all my life. I have looked like everyone all my life. I was put in restrictions. I was put in a box and who I was said and could be. This is my first time, one, away from home, two, wearing whatever I could wear and doing my hair however I could or whatever. Say what's, what I said went. And I didn't know how to handle it. I got into a repetition that I wasn't proud of. Uh, I got into the parties, into the drinking, into the to the to the smoking, and then everything kind of just became like my daily routine was 
class sleep, class eat sleep. And like when I say class eat sleep, I mean like wake up five minutes before class, go to class, come back, go to sleep. Wake up five minutes before class, come back, go to sleep. And then not adding on top but to me not knowing who I was and struggling in my faith because like when I'm at home or when I was at home there were so many outlets for me to reach to get closer to God and even the programs that I were involved in but here I'm in a place like I've never been before I don't know anything here I I stopped my my self-care routine because I in my mind everything just seemed so impossible because it was so unfamiliar And then winter came, and then, you know, the seasonal depression, and it just got so hard for me to even take a shower. Like, it was a struggle. I had to start writing on my to-dos for the day, take a shower. Because I would do my homework, and I would go to class, and I would eat occasionally. But doing something for myself became so hard for me to do. And I was just like, if I can't, you know, do things for myself, how can I show up on the internet and act like everything's okay, everything's calm, everything's collected, when it's not? And it took me, yeah, it took me a whole semester to figure that out. What was that? August all the way to December, four or five months, that's a while. It was just a repetition, a cycle of unfamiliarity. Is this really me? Is this the me that I wanna be? And how can I end this? It was a lot. I felt like at some points, I felt like I was drowning in the life that I made for myself. But then you have to realize, like, one, you can't be too hard on yourself. Two, you have to celebrate even the smaller moments that are also good. And I kind of lost sight of that. Um, things get real. But part of being a new adult and part of being an adult in general is realizing your faults. Okay, um, sorry about that. I had to take care of some of the snow that was outside. But um, the last thing I remember saying, I really don't remember what I was saying. I think it was more just like, I don't know. But I'm going to say this, that trying to reinvent yourself isn't as hard as it looks because literally all you have to do is take not even reinvent even just like get back to who you were all it takes is one action one action leads to a reaction that reaction leads to another action and then it'll be an ongoing cycle of what you want to do I just got to learn how to do that in the environment that I am in. I feel like everyone is so afraid of the unfamiliar that they only go so far to push outside their comfort zone. But I mean, for the rest of your life, you're going to be in the unfamiliar. You're not going to stay in one spot for the rest of your life. You're not going to look the same for the rest of your life. You're not going to do the same things your whole entire life. You're continuously growing in other areas and other spaces with other people doing other things and so I'm getting used to that I'm at a point where I feel like I have a good routine set in place for me to do this and I felt like I was ready to share my life with the world again and I kind of miss sharing my life with the world like my dream and my aspect for this YouTube channel was just like to create the kind of videos that I watch I want to be the person that I look on YouTube. I go on YouTube and I look up maintenance vlogs, so why not make them? I can still enjoy watching those, 
there's nothing wrong with that but why not instead of just admiring the person you want to be why not be the person you want to be and i put myself back in that place to be in that and honestly if you guys were in school with me no cap that's on me some of those videos would have been bangers life in the uh a day in the life as a, a para production major it's okay because i'm keeping my major i'm i will not be one of those people that switches majors none of that y'all will see the day in my life but again being familiar with the unfamiliar you i don't think i think any point in your life when you become familiar with something is when you need to challenge yourself to do something new because life is an uncomfortable thing and you can never be too comfortable because the uncomfortable leads to lazy at least in my in my life it does and uncomfortable isn't a bad thing like i signed up for something for this upcoming semester that one i've always wanted to do like i've seen people do this and i was like oh i would i would love that and then i got on a signing sheet and i was looking like nah i can't do this and so i stopped and i asked myself i said okay so why do you think you can't do this and my main re reason was i'm unfamiliar with it fear but you can't let you know fear control your life so i was like fuck it i'm signing up because why would i let fear stop me from doing something i wanted to do why would i just watch on the sidelines when that could be me Dropping wisdom, dropping bombs. And you know, it took me a minute to get back into this mindset. Like I said, it took me like four to five months. It took me three months to even figure out that I was going downhill because sometimes you don't even know. Sometimes you get so in the swing of life, things are just happening and happening and happening and happening. And you look back and you be like, what the hell happened to me? And that's okay. You can pick yourself up back whenever you feel like it on your time. Yet again, you can pick yourself up. Somebody can call you out and tell you what's been going on, but you alone have to pick yourself back up. I started writing in my planner again. I even have stuff that I want to do in my phone as a checklist. And today, I almost didn't make this video. I was like, mm, maybe I could push it back. But me pushing back, because I see this as myself. This is something I want to do. Me pushing back on stuff I want to do. What am I waiting for? What am I pushing this back for? What? Laziness? Fear? There's no point. So I got up. And now I'm making this video. And this will kickstart, like, this will kickstart something to me that I've always wanted to do. I've been doing it. I stopped doing it. Coming back. Literally, coming back is the hardest part. The first step to coming back, making the damn video. And so here I am. Um, a lot has changed since I made my last video. I am now in a committed relationship. A long distance relationship. <laughs> it's okay, y'all, but um, she put a ring on it. Um, I am going to transfer soon, but baby, I can't even say that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Nah, we could talk about it. Um, I currently go to Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois. And at first my school was, you know, they was all cool and good. I was adjusting to the people there. I liked the environment. It was a uh, different from what I'm used to because I'm more of a city girl and this is more of like a country vibe and when I found out that I prob probably need to transfer I felt like my life was beginning to crumble because it's like I got so comfortable and used to things and then everything had to change like I said me and the unfamiliar wasn't really like the best of friends um so at first my school had i think there were two million in debt 
now they're 13 million dollars in debt i don't know how the hell you go from you know what that ain't my business but like my school is just having a lot of personal issues in their in their whole just in their system they cut my program i am one of the many programs they had cut because of their debt issues and so they cut my program but they put out a plan for people to like this is your phase out program so these things will still be there for you to continue your education but nobody else can join your education mind you i'm the only freshman in my major and i just everybody's like oh maybe a class of one no i'm mean, like that's cool and all but like you also, when you're in school, you not only do you learn from your teacher or your professor, but you also learn from your classmates. And it's like, I just feel like it wasn't going to be a, a good growth opportunity. But the real deciding factor of my transferring was the financial issues that my school was having and how they are treating their students for the second semester. Half of my friend group that I go to school now is transferring because of like the carelessness that the financial services office has like i've been trying to get in contact what's today the 12th the 12th of january i have been trying to get in contact with them since january 1st and i've only talked to them once and it's just it's it's a mess like i don't understand why things should be that difficult for just for me to continue my education. But I am transferring. I do have options. I have some options that are still in Illinois. And then I have some out-of-state options. I'm not going to say where I'm going until I'm moving in. Because it's not that I don't think that I will be there. It's just I feel like I like to tell people what I'm doing when I'm doing it. It is what it is. I don't wanna like I don't wanna be like, oh I'm going here and then I go somewhere else and then I feel like I have to explain myself and what happened and why. So just know I have some other schools under my belt. Um I did my vision board for this year. So I have a lots of goals to accomplish. My main goal, or one of my main goals, not my main goal, one of my main goals this year is to get my freaking license. I'm 18, about to be 19 with no license, uh, with no car, uh, all because of what? Fear. I was being scary. Uh, like, literally. Some of the things that I have on my vision board that I really wanted to do, the only thing that was stopping me was that I was afraid. I have literally nothing to be afraid of. The realization is not the hardest part of changing your mindset and how you go about things. It's really the actions. Because you can say, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that and never do it. Like those videos I told you that I made that I never finished because I tried to come back before. I was like, I'm going to come back fresh. I'm doing a fashion show. I'm going to come back. I'm going to record that. It's going to be great. I started recording some of the stuff for the fashion show. And I stopped. Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't properly ignite that flame back into my body. It wasn't it wasn't working. Then I tried again. I tried to vlog the trip that I met my girlfriend on when she came to see me. I started the vlog, we had some videos, we had some clips, and then I stopped recording. Mid video. Like not even mid video, like she was here for two weeks and I stopped recording the second day. Because <laughs> I didn't properly light the fire back in to me. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because it's something I want to do. Instead of just like, oh, these videos going to be popping. They're going to be good. Somebody's going to watch these. Someone's going to want to see this. I needed to go back and be like, why am I doing these videos in the first place? And so that's what it was. I'm really, I'm looking at myself because 
I'm really getting into a very unfamiliar space. I'm doing something completely new with my hair. Like locking your hair literally takes you through so much. It's like you have to get used to your face in a whole new way. The process is gonna start. It's gonna start looking a little, a little crazy, a little wonky. Everything's not gonna lock all at the same time. Sometimes some things might lock way, way, way shorter or way a longer process than others. Your hair is gonna shrink up and everything. So let's. I purposely did this so that I would be comfortable with the unfamiliarity. I don't know how my hair's gonna lock. I don't know when my hair's gonna lock. I don't know what the hell it's gonna look like until it happens. But I still want to be comfortable with being unfamiliar. I still think I look pretty. I like my face. This is just me beginning to love a different part of myself. In a different era, in a different whatever, whatever you want to call it. This year, a lot of things are new, a lot of things are changing. I'm planning to take my first trip with my girlfriend i've never went on a trip with anyone that is not my mama so it's just like i have so many things planned for this year that are so new and unfamiliar and pushing me outside of my comfort zone because why not it's stuff i want to do what is stopping me nothing is stopping me so i'm gonna do it If anything I said or explained has resonated with you, baby girl, you are not alone. As you can see, I'm going through the same things too. And one thing I don't want like anyone to think is they're like, oh, I'm talking about these, but you you can talk to somebody about it. It don't have to be no therapist. It don't even have to be your friend. Honestly, if you feel like talking to me about it just because I awoken something in your spirit, you can gladly... You can gladly text me. I put I always put my social media in my um in my comments on my videos. You can if you feel like you need someone to talk to about stuff like this and you don't want to talk to anyone you know and you rather, you know, talk to someone that you know has been through similar experiences, baby, you can talk to me. Now don't get mad. If I don't initially see your text, because I know how Instagram be tweaking and it don't notify you when people um go and see your thing when they don't follow you. But I will respond. We can have a conversation. We can talk about it. You never, I, won't, I don't want anyone to think that you have to go do things alone because I used to think I had to go do things alone and it was eating me alive. But you don't. You don't. You simply don't. And... There are just like so many other people that can't help you, that will willingly help you, whether you got the money or not. Because sometimes it only takes a conversation. Sometimes you just need that one friend to point something out and get your life back on track. And now you're living the best life you could have ever imagined. Another thing that I'm trying to get back into is my faith. Um, I'm going to buy a Bible. I'm going to do the whole, I'm doing, I have to start back my meditation. I have to get back on my spiritual wave because that's where I'm beginning lost myself. I stopped, I stopped praying every day. I stopped meditating. I stopped, I even stopped my affirmations because I got so caught up living in the moment. But those little things is what set me up for a good living. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start where I stopped. I'm getting me a Bible. I'm getting me, I'm eating me, I'm even buying, I think I just bought, I think it's a black girl Bible. It was more like a working experience where you read this scripture, you say this, something says that, and then you write in what your goal is. It's like something like that, that I picked up for myself just so that I can hold myself accountable to doing things. I'm trying to change my eating habits because I know before when things got rough, I wasn't eating what I'm supposed to, the things that my body needed to be effective. It was just what I could find. So, for my sake, I'm not even going to say hopefully I stick to this. I know I'm going to stick to this because 
I don't play about myself. Like this is this is my motivation. This is my life, and I don't play about myself. I'm really excited for this new chapter. Like I said, it's only January 12th. And I'm not saying this year I'm expecting myself to be perfect or expecting myself not to slip up and do something that, you know, I'm not supposed to do. But I am going to dial it back and learn and romanticize my life and make my life around me. Making your life around you does not make you selfish. And I'm not saying you have to spend every minute with yourself in order to make your life about you. But you do have to celebrate yourself in all the moments you spend. And especially the little things. Like, you did all your, you did all your t stuff today. Everything you had on your to-do list, celebrate it. Because that's a task. Because when you get really low in your life, even that becomes hard to do. So celebrate the little things. And that's literally what I'm going to do. I'm going to celebrate my little things. I'm going to celebrate myself. I'm going to have a day... Or two, where all I do is stuff that I need to do in order to make myself feel like me again. Just because I deserve it. Because everybody deserves it. Hell, I'm proud of myself for even making this damn video. Because I almost pushed it back. I almost postponed it. I almost was like, what if I just don't do it? But I feel like this video will not only ignite the fire in myself to start doing stuff, but it will ignite the fire in other people to start doing stuff they, they really want to do as well. And I'm proud of myself for that. Give me a motherfucking round of applause. This video was just something simple and short. It was nothing supposed to be, you know, too time consuming. It was literally just like me talking to the camera about some real life shit. Not everybody does that. And not everybody is transparent, probably. Mainly because the internet has so much to say about transparency. But some people just literally want people to be real. And so, like I said, I'm making videos that I would want to see or that I do see. And so I chose to have a real moment and I'm proud of myself for that my next video will be um, get ready with me for my second semester nothing too crazy it's gonna be kind of like me cleaning up my room seeing like changing I'm gonna change a little bit of how my room is set just to switch up the vibes i'm gonna be more intentional in my space and in my room and intentional with myself and my actions and i'm gonna be doing some things that i knew i wanted to do but i'm just too scared to do i'm really like honestly i'm gonna i think my motto until i get until i'm out of this phase is gonna be why not because if i say why not and i answer back to myself with fear then i'm doing it but yeah that will be my next video this is the end of this video i feel like i really need to hear this even just like listening to this as i talk or i know when i play this back it will be genuinely something that i needed to hear and maybe when you watch this this was something you needed to hear too or maybe it wasn't maybe this wasn't this video wasn't your cup of tea but maybe i have other videos and very much more to come so maybe something else will grab your attention and grab your eye um this will be the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed the video as much as i en not even enjoy talking about this or just like bringing this to my attention um i will see y'all next time in the next video that i mentioned that i will be making holding myself accountable to that if i don't hold myself accountable y'all sure will because what that I should start making a video next week. So the video should be out in two weeks. But until then. I will see the J babies later. Protest songs. Hoping I don't stay sick for too long. Never too long.